and welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, so we'll, we'll get it back centered and everything. We'll get it back centered. Uh, but full lineup this week, so we ain't got no time to BS around about anything. But I'm thankful for Crumble Cookies. Who are you thankful for? I'm thankful a lot for a lot. My family uh, and uh, my friends. My workplace. Very forgiving workplace. Um, but, yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and jump into this review. Mystery cookie this week. Um, I, you know, typically I would be in a little bit of a bad mood um, with my location uh, being behind. But they only have four people working there. And this is the typical experience when you kind of have short staff. Um, and, you know, Thanksgiving, a lot of people were probably not here this week. So, just go hang out with your family. What I will say is they gave me another chocolate sprinkle. Uh, that was the one that was behind. And I said, you know, I'll be patient. I will wait. And they rewarded me. So I appreciate that. Hey, Crumble Corporate, don't don't get mad. I haven't even said the location, but you know the location. Um, but Crumble, don't get mad at them. They, they, they're very nice people and they're working hard. So we're going to jump into this. Um six cookies to review i know it's a lot it's a lot right so there's your thumbnail and i uh, got a lot going on in my head around me and all that so where are we going to start well we're going to start with one that i don't necessarily remember my opinion on i had to re-watch my video from last year that's pumpkin pie y'all i gave it a 10 out of 10 i didn't think i loved it so much but you know, looking back after watching the review, I did. So let's go ahead, center the center it all back to me and the cookie, of course. And uh, let's go ahead and get a bite of this, right? I'll get a, a nice little fourth. I believe it's served chilled. Um, it may be served warm. I don't remember, but good old pumpkin pie filling on a nice little crust, sugar cookie crust. So here we go. Mm. Yes, yes. Reminding me why. If you've watched me do reviews over the years, I have over and over been disappointed with a lot of pumpkin items because they don't have that flavor. This emulates a pumpkin pie perfectly. And then adds a nice little sugar cookie base. My goodness, friends. Mmm. I just fell in love all over again. I just fell in love. That is just delicious. Delicious. 10 out of 10. No doubt. Alright, let me clean this cookie cutter. That's the one struggle of this tobacco. Okay, um. So... How do we get better? Well, we don't. We don't. We don't top that. But we can try. We can try with the amazing salted caramel cheesecake. Now, I don't remember giving this thing a ten, and I don't know why. And I did not rewatch my review on this, so we'll have to see what I give it this time around. Um, what piece do I want? I take the little one. It's got a fair amount of salted caramel, right? So. Let's try it. Oh, and it's chilled. Last time it was hot. They're starting to chill these cookies now. So that's pretty cool. Mmm. Mmm. That's indulgent. So, you get the, the, the amazing uh, cheesecake icing, now chilled. You get a nice graham cracker base. And now I'm, I'm ending off with some salty flavor. A little too salty. I'll say that. A little too salty. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Again, I am in love with this flavor. It's very delicious. I think one of the, the fallbacks on it is that salty end. Um, that kind of overcomes everything. But... I can't, I can't, it, it doesn't hurt it but so much. Like, I get everything in here. You get a blast of cream cheese flavor, graham cracker, caramel's just 
it just rattles your mouth. So for me, I'll give it a nine and a half. I don't typically do nine and a half because, you know, it's either perfect or it's not. You know, you give it a nine. But I, I have to give that a nine and a half. So um, let's move on to maple cinnamon roll. We're featuring all the non-chocolate ones, right? Um, maple cinnamon roll. Why didn't I do chocolate sprinkle to start with? Well, we'll, uh, we'll talk about that in a, in a second. Uh, yeah, well, that's the one they were behind on. So it is it is dramatic over here with that thing. It I can't pick it up. But they put the other one in a box. So we'll, we'll show it off in that box that we've got. But, ooh, got the maple icing going everywhere. Man, this one was a pretty big cookie. I don't have a lot of small spaces to go for. So, you got a nice dense graham cracker base on the last one. Uh, you know, a, a light, airy sugar cookie base. I assume this one pretty light and airy too. We'll have to try it, right? I don't remember loving this one, but we'll see. Mmm. That's pretty good too. Now, maple and cinnamon items don't typically blow me away by any means. And if you like those things, I think you really like this. I think the flavor works well. Cookie base is a bit dry. And I do think I taste cream cheese in this maple icing. But I think this cookie will give you the warm and fuzzy. will make you feel right. will make you feel good. And will make you feel happy. For me, I'd give it... I'd simply give it an 8. I do think the dynamic... Of having a sugar cookie with cinnamon and maple really works well even though it doesn't wow me i know a lot of people will enjoy it quite a bit so now um i'm gonna i'm gonna skip over cranberry white chip i'm not a huge cranberry white chip fan i, I did not like it last time so there's that but we're gonna move on to chocolate sprinkle i know simple basic whatever you want to call it I will probably give it like an eight just because I like their chocolate base. Uh, maybe maybe less than eight. We'll have to see. We'll have to try it. If it's super bland, um, you know how it goes. So, showed you the base. Oh my goodness, this thing looks gooey, but it might just be because they just cooked it. So, just bear with me. Yeah, that's the issue with this one. There's no chocolate chips, no chocolate icing, nothing to kind of support this. It's just a, a dense chocolate cookie. And while they do have a nice base, this is just a little too dry, a little too limited. Um, it's not milk chocolatey, so it's not so sweet, which I don't mind. But it, it just kind of limits itself. I still like it. It's quite gooey in a way. Um, and the sprinkles really add a nice context to it. But again, there's not a lot of substance to it. It doesn't pop. It doesn't wow. It's just simply okay. For me, I would give it a 7. I know y'all might get on me and say, wow, that's too high. That's fine. But I like their chocolate. I like it. And I like their base. But again, like I would, I would probably give it a 7. Maybe a 6 is debatable. So... I don't know, but we're moving on to cranberry white chip. So it is uh, ocean spray dried cranberry. And um, sorry, I got maple icing still on this thing. Um, it's white chips and dried ocean spray cranberry spray. Sorry if you didn't hear me say that, but oh well. Okay, so again, we're going to try this. I have a pretty good feeling this is going to be the lowest rated cookie, so. Yeah, it's very bland. Unlike the oatmeal one, that at least has oatmeal as a base, this just has their brown sugar base. Which is nothing wrong with their brown sugar base, but you put cranberry and white chips in it, you're not going to get far with it.
And like even with the cranberries in there, it's just not very good. I'm surprised they brought it back. I really would like them to do like a cranberry icing or maybe a sugar cookie instead. Um, you guys listening? That might be a good idea. There's just not much to this. Like, maybe it's not the worst cookie I've ever had, but where am I going to rank this? I don't even know. I'm going to have, I, I, I'll give it a three. I'll give it a three. Um, you know, there's context to it. That's okay, but. Most part, yeah. All right, mystery cookie time. Double trouble. I don't remember loving this one. I think a lot of people have enjoyed it. I don't have uh, the patience to cut in the fours. We're just going to break off a piece and eat it together. Again, what really makes that cookie is the chocolate chips. Um, it's almost like a brookie in a way, but the chocolate can be a bit overpowering. Not over, uh, not overly so, but you know, I would have to say it's not my favorite. I do think it is a step up over chocolate sprinkle. And uh, you really do like the gooey chocolate chips. I think that really brings it home to be a, a quality cookie and I would probably say like a seven and a half. Um, but it's not a home run for me. Like, their milk chocolate's pretty good. Their dark dreams are really good. I love dark dream. So you put decent and really good together. And you get good. So seven and a half. That's fair. Almost like a rookie. Maybe not quite, but super chocolatey. So yeah, hopefully I didn't run on too long for you folks. And I hope to see y'all next week. Other than that, I got plenty of reviews coming. But if you don't come back till next week, I hope y'all have a safe Thanksgiving. And I will see y'all around. Yay!